yeah, you read the title right. In this video, I'm gonna play a game where I'm gonna spend the majority of the game unmounted. Thinking about the whole concept, I've decided to go for face rush because why not? And I'm just gonna build full movement speed to see if I can actually counteract to the self slow. And let me say it like this, you will be quite surprised how this ended up going. So as I load into the game, there's one important thing we have to do to start off the game. Yeah, this is gonna be great. So while my Aphelios runs it down, let me explain the rules really quick. So of course I'm not gonna play without my W spell at all, that would be kinda stupid. So if I actually have an angle to engage with mount up, I can do that, but it's important that I use crash down the second it's off cooldown again. I'm also not allowed to abuse this and mount up, crash down, mount up, crash down, mount up, crash down over and over again. So I am the majority of the game unmounted. And with that being said, let's get into the game. Since playing a mounted in lane is actually nothing too out of the ordinary, in lane all of this isn't really the biggest handicap for me. Combined with the fact that we are playing against the Fortune and Bard, who are gonna just poke us to death anyways, we could just chill in lane until the enemies make a mistake. And lucky for us it didn't even take too long until the enemies decided to step up a bit too far and get immediately punished. And thanks to my trusty calculator I always keep on my desk, combined with me absolutely demolishing my W key, we managed to pick up Bard just a few seconds later. By the way, this combo right here, the flip into the Q backwards, <laughs> let's actually start a counter for this combo because we're gonna see it a lot more in this game. I mean... This is probably gonna be the biggest struggle in the entire game. But to be fair, it wasn't even that bad. I just arrived like two seconds after a failure, so you really can tell that the Mitsuko update did change a lot about Unmounted Rail. Then a skirmish in our jungle started. And yes, it took me way too long to arrive there, but once you do arrive, you have to flip to your disposal, which is just very useful overall, which allows us to pick up even more kills. Then after almost picking up a kill on Misfortune, thanks to another flip Q combo, we get into a bit of trouble with Bard due to us being very low. But thanks to Nimbus Cloak and another abusement of my W key, we managed to take him down but I still had to give my life for it. One thing I had to keep in mind is that you automatically mount up every time you recall or you respawn. So I pretty much had to use my crash down every time I got back to base. Which, yeah, resulted in this once again. In the next 2v2 fight in the bot lane, I get a very convenient level up while already being mounted, which results in my only crash down magnet storm combo of the entire game. One a bit too motivated play later, I find myself here again. I guess I might just take that time to let you know that I have Twitter now. Well, I actually already had Twitter before, but I kinda forgot my password. So I have a new one now. I mainly want to use Twitter to announce my streams and also to ask you guys some questions. Because I want to include you guys more into the videos. Just for the love of god, don't click on my following list. It's for the better for both of us, okay, if you just ignore that. Have you heard me? Don't check the following list. Anyways, let's keep going. After a successful dive thanks to you already know which combo, I get slapped in the face by a bar just to realize that bro literally bought Hextech Alternator. But that's nothing 200 years of balancing experience can deal with. Let me just include this clip real quick to... Let me just include this clip real quick... Let me just include this... Let me just include this clip real quick... What the fuck is this tongue twister, bro? How am I supposed to even say that, man? Let me just include this clip real quick to just keep the counter going. Let's talk about map traversal now, because that is the thing that should be most annoying in this challenge. But to be honest, it felt alright. After completing boots, it really doesn't feel like you are that slow while unmounted. It's certainly slower than being mounted, of course, no questions about that. But it really wasn't that bad. Anyways, after getting to mid lane at a decent pace, Victor almost gets away while giving me flashbacks to a certain video of mine. But luckily Greg Boy managed to pick the kill up and get out. Sprinting back to bot lane, I hit Misfortune with the Q flash combo, giving her no chance to react to it at all. And here is a prime example why I love Shurelia's on Rel. This victor literally had no counterplay whatsoever. 
another one. After doing absolutely nothing for a couple of minutes, Bart hooks us up with a free catch, resulting in us getting an uncontested Baron. At this point, I was able to build a dead man's plate for myself, which made the whole being unmounted all game really not that big of a deal. Then, after almost throwing away the entire game for just a Bart kill, we managed to get an important pick on Akshan, resulting in us infiltrating the enemy base. Then I absolutely speed blitz the misfortune, who previously just got a triple kill and was maybe about to carry the team fight, and then I hit the final flip kill combo on action, allowing us to finally finish the game. Wait, did I just finish the game mounted?